Hello, in today's video I'm gonna show you another quick and simple ways to make sodium hydroxide. Instead of using membrane, we're using sodium carbonate, which will decompose into two main products, carbon dioxide, which is basically the carbonic acid, and hydrogen. This process wouldn't produce high purity sodium hydroxide, but it's sufficient enough for most majority of uses. In order to make the electrolytes, you will have to dissolve as much as sodium carbonate into water as possible. And here I'm using the electrodes, which can be used with normal stainless steel or normal steel. And here you can see the current on my meter. You want this to run long enough, but with low voltage, high current. Anyway, when it's sufficient enough, the anode will produce oxygen instead of carbon dioxide. Anyway, we're gonna test the solution to make sure it is sodium hydroxide solution. And now you see. The longer the distance, the higher the resistance will be. The more energy you put it in, instead of splitting the water molecules, now you end it up making more heat. And here you can see we tune up the voltage all the way up to 29 volts DC. DC. And now it's fizzing very vigorously. And now try not to use anything flammable or else it will ignite the hydrogen bubbles, make a detonation, because the gas are accurately mixed between the ratio of two hydrogen and one oxygen, which is known as the HHO. In order to test this is sodium hydroxide, I'm gonna use a bit of aluminium, roll it into a bowl, stuff it into a little bottle, and stop the electrolysis right there. Now be careful, the solution is actually caustic right now, because it's actually sodium hydroxide. Here I have a funnel. If you see carefully, the aluminium bowl will start to fizz. As you can see there. Soon the aluminium will get dissolved away, because the solution is highly caustic. But if you left the solution outside, the solution will quickly absorb carbon dioxide and become sodium carbonate, which is less caustic again. It's now fizzing quite vigorously now. The gas now produced is hydrogen gas. We can test it by using a flame. Cover the lid up and using a flame put it on the mouth so you should hear a squeaky pop to represent the presence of hydrogen. Anyway, in a proper laboratory it will using a burning flint which is known as the flint test. Splint, sorry. Anyway, it doesn't see anything flame, because as soon as we open it, all the hydrogen escaped. Hydrogen is lighter than air. Anyway, now left in the solution should be sodium aluminate, which is another compound that's also quite caustic, but less caustic than sodium hydroxide itself. And now it's here, it's more pieces is in, it produces even more hydrogen. You can actually collect it by adding a balloon on the top. But I don't actually have a balloon, so I can't do the demonstrations here. But you can see, when it's dissolved, it does release quite a lot of heat. Which you can also warm your hand from the heat it's produced. It's a very exothermic reaction.